Hello there, my name is Emin, EMC Soft. In, in this uh, Bitrix training course, I will continue my admin course regarding robots. If we'll go to automation rules and then we go to the workflow automation, we can see create SPA, edit SPA. I going to explain more about smart process automation in my training course later but in appendix 3 in this training course you can see how i created an um, hr model uh, using smart process automation the thing is that there was a model hr model in salesforce and it was a hr model created using business objects of salesforce and i explained that you can create the same hr model in bitrix using spa quite long video explaining many things about relations between uh, spa objects and how they work in together right in that video i will try to make short and simple and i will explain on the basics of this robots right let's create spa okay and move to the stage spa click edit so we need to select here object to select object we need to create that object first so let's copy copy that tab go to smart process automation and then click create and create empty spa and let's create test spa so use pipelines stages not on the list automation workflow designer so i'm not going to use workflow design i will just add for fun <laughs> then spa form layout we need to use for example customer srm bindings is bind to this spa to the deal so we're going to create smart process affirmation from the deal that's what we need to bind it to the deal then bind to other tools so we're going to move some data between fields inside the deal and inside of spa and for that we need to use a CRM entities okay so we got it if we go inside we can see that we got kanban by default let's go back here and refresh spa add workflow automation create spa select test spa which we created recently and use execution wait just to be sure that's the first one and that spa will have a name as a deal name okay and uh, plus for example then currency of the deal not currency amount amount of the deal no external created by me responsible me as well with great power comes great responsibility available to everyone yes means that that uh, spa will be available for everyone or only for me and ignore all of this uh, pipeline new pipeline and stage prepare stage that stage so spa will be created new pipeline and prepare stage right link the current item means that current spa connect to the deal and deal no it's not we don't need that because it automatically will connect it safe save okay and move client company a to spa go to spa refresh so we got company a and the amount okay and by the way you can customize i mean customize view id created by created or responsible person update deals right then good we're good here go to automation rule go to create go to workflow automation edit spa item so you can edit some data inside of spa for example for example for example we got con contract number inside the deal and want to put that data inside of spa as well okay and i need to create that the same field inside of spa id created updated created by responsible move on deal and customer right and create field for example string contract name in spa 
right so it's empty for now then if i cre already created stage modified data or before prepared for that video i can modify data here create robot workflow edit spa item select test spa select field and find the field con contract name in spa means that inside of spa put some data and of course we put in here some data from the deal which is contract data as well inside of the deal right okay 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 let's go so we move that company name here that field is empty string and move here and check spa refresh and we copied some field string field from deal to the spa okay so we're moving data between objects right we're good here now go to automation rules and uh, let's discuss workflow automation get spa information okay all right all right all right and here we extract some data from spa and we can move that data to the deal okay all right all right all right <laughs> inside of the spa we can create some field and call it like client type okay and for example we will put here by robots business process or just manually or client level a just as an example doesn't matter what the, the, is that mean safe but it doesn't matter it just doesn't matter inside of a deal i want to put that information for example and put that information inside of a name of a deal okay i'm going to automation go to get data from spa workflow get test spa and client type right right then i want to modify the name of a deal using that field uh, data and for that i need to go to manage workflow item modify item name of a deal will be name of a deal plus information which i extracted automation rules get speed that the client type right here on behalf of me and we need to exact exactly by sequence one by one so we need to execute this then this right so let's put here information client level a it's already there we close uh, the deal and move a deal from modify data to get data from spa going inside no we don't need to go inside we, we see that deal name changes from company a to client level c so actually we can make it more beautiful and put the space here or minus my everyone's a pony and they all eat rainbows and put butterflies that's beautiful katie <laughs> okay move refresh okay good now let's discuss the robot which delete sp and thing is that is the same as a list and uh, but with more features and more functionality and uh, each record have own id so you need to extract own id and then using that id you delete the particular spa okay so how we can do that first of all uh, we can copy this okay and uh, here node parallel wait in sequence means that first item we should be executed get id of spa from this spa record which is connected to that deal okay then delete that spa workflow delete that spa okay uh, so we need to go test spa and then here go to automation rule and id safe safe right let's test using call center 24 you may do a click by clicking on the number select a number from which you want to call you can add up to 100 numbers make a call during the call you can add to the call any contact from your bitrix from leads or contacts you can add call call center user from user list in your bitrix or you can connect to that call somebody by type any number and connect to that call also you can pass the call move the call or transfer call to somebody else so in uh, spa we have a record this object not object we have this spa right now we move it here delete it 
Good. So in my further videos, upcoming videos, I'm going to discuss that in more details. But for now, I think it's to make a video short and simple is enough to see. So if you like that video, please click like. If you got the questions regarding that video, please ask your questions on the comments of that video. Thank you and bye bye.